Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 8, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Daily Do. Starting out here, always looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. We do have some M-class solar flares and a large plasma ejection to show you and observe here on the right-hand side, outgoing position, sunspot region. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, this is crusting into view, active multiple sunspot region there, plasma filament spinning around it, and as well an M-class solar flare outgoing here. This is where we will see that large plasma filament eruption. A little earth to scale from this very active sunspot region turning away. Right there, after an M-class solar flare. These are the most active sunspot regions right now. Turning away and turning in. Look at the size of that plasma ejection. Luckily, that was not in an earth-facing position, but it was in enough of a position to give us a glancing blow and send us into an instant radio and solar radiation storm. Closer look here at the region that blew up after an M-class solar flare. Large plasma filament from that sunspot region. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, there are no major coronal holes, but one is developing in the southern hemisphere. Other than that, still keeping an eye on plasma filaments and as well these active sunspot regions. 171 angstroms here. You can really see the magnetic field of our sun reacting and acting out with that large plasma ejection. And right now we have nine sunspots that we're keeping an eye on. Current space weather conditions under R2, level 2 radio blackout impacts expected, and level 3 solar radiation impacts. So solar storm impacts are in effect right now, 527 kilometers per second. It's been up and over 500 for the last few hours, just now dropping down to 470 kilometers per second. So some very fast solar winds. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, three spikes into the M flare rains, last one being a long duration and a strong one, putting us into an instant solar proton flux solar storm. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to six last night and is hovering around a KP2 today. Now let's have a look at our updated space weather prediction center spiral here as we are expecting solar weather over the next two days. So northern lights will be visible tonight and tomorrow, but more so tomorrow with this large CME giving us a glancing blow. Rolling through the abyss right towards our planet Earth. Amazing stuff. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent CME taking off in an outgoing position towards the Parker Solar Probe. And all of that yellow and green, that is the current space weather we are going through. Now let's have a look at Alaska 3 showing our sun's activity. This is the last two days. Now watch with that M-class solar flare. See all that instant solar radiation and protons and photons nailing our atmosphere. Wow. Welcome to the cosmic dance party that is Solar Cycle 25. Yet another M-class solar flare and a large coronal mass ejection putting us into an instant solar radiation storm. Amazing stuff with Lasco 3 here. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. We're still up in over 200 and as you can see, still pretty busy across this map right now. Notable here is starting in North America with a 4.5 at the geysers. That's a very sizable magnitude earthquake for the region. Largest I've seen in quite some time through there. So, heads up, a lot of pressure being released. California right now. And as well, 
Notable here, Denali National Park, Alaska, reporting a 4.4, 4.3 there, east off the coast of Kamchatka. Lots of deep earthquakes here through the Philippines Plate. And the Volcano Islands region into the Marianas Trench, 4.3 there. Largest the last 24 hours, Abipur, 5.3, and that was reported yesterday. And then our deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 539 kilometer depth, 4.7 Fiji. But increasing activity through this region is a little bit concerning, keeping an eye on the Kermit X Trench. Notable earthquake here, 4.0 northern India, and as well a 4.3 there, Iran. Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.4s. That was yesterday, as well a 4.7 there, south of Africa, reported late last night. And this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, folks. Well around average, but slightly above average right now. Having a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Notable activity all along the west coast right now. And as well, Russia. Off the coast of Russia, down into Mariana's Trench. No major volcanic eruptions to report. No new volcanoes awakening. That's the last of seven days for earthquakes. But let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Still lots of remnant SO2 sulfur dioxide emissions from the eruption in Iceland. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, Micronesia. SO2 content and forecast here for the next couple days. Interesting SO2 coming off of the Australian continent right now. We're going to get a closer look here. We've got a few volcanoes that are spewing through Papua New Guinea and as well New Caledonia. But all of that SO2 stretching across the Australian continent is a little bit strange. And then overlooking uh, North Pacific, Kamchatka. Got three active volcanoes on Kamchatka and as well a couple more island volcanoes south of the region. Again, no new major eruptions to report. Right now, we are still observing 48 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Now let's get to windy.com showing our weather forecast. We've got a few low pressure systems developing all this week coming in through BC and scooting across the Canadian prairies. Most of the moisture is staying northward except for couple systems coming in through the Gulf this week through the United States. Other than that, cooler temperatures through the east and warming up in the west. Overlooking Europe, multiple low pressure systems affecting you and we'll be scooting away northeastward before the next one comes along from Iceland into the long range forecast. Pretty strong low pressure system heading out and forecast for the United Kingdom, Ireland, Overlooking Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia, no major typhoons or cyclones forecast here or developing in these models. But a pretty strong system off the coast of Australia will be affecting all of New Zealand for the coming days, if not a week long event here. Very strong and big low pressure system scooting across Tasmania by Tuesday. Wednesday into Thursday, it will be impacting New Zealand. And then watch for it to get trapped there in between the continent and New Zealand there. Long range forecast doesn't look like it's going to be going anywhere. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific. Again, still no hurricanes yet, but pretty strong system just reaching the tip of Japan. And a lot of moisture heading towards BC, northern Alaska, over the next few days. So, heads up, and much love. Thank you so much for watching. 
Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.